My name's Ricky Arnold, and I'm the president of the foundation, GSW Foundation. It is an honor to welcome each of you here, uh, especially the recipients, as well as those who have given you the opportunity to receive a scholarship. Uh, there's some who are not here today with us, and they have sent their regrets. Uh, but to all of you, thank you for being here and taking the time to come to see some of your recipients in some cases and donors in the other. Uh, first off, I'd like to introduce the head table who are in the foyer, or in the, I'm not gonna say the foyer to what, but if you need to go to the restroom, it's right <laughs> over there. And they are guarding it. Uh, Christy Weaver, wife of Dr. Neil Weaver, and Stephen Snyder, the head of the foundation. Also, I'd like to introduce some special guests, Dr. Laura Boren, Vice President of Student Engagement, Jeff Hall, VP of Business and Finance, Royce Hackett, can we see Royce? Don't. Uh, Dr. Gator Chokas, Dean of College of Business and Computing. Dr. Rachel Abbott, Dean of College of Education. Dr. Sandra Daniel, Dean of Nursing. Mike Leader, I know he's not here because I don't hear him. <laughs> uh, traveling north, perchance? Probably. Uh, plug for GSW Lady G Hurricanes, uh, who are in North Carolina. Uh, getting ready for tomorrow's uh, first round of the tur yeah, NCAA Division II tournament. Go Canes. Uh, Michaela Barlow, President of Jimmy Carter Leadership Program. And I probably misspelled that, said that wrong, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, just checking. All right, I saw this little quiver up here. Uh, other GSW Foundation members. Well, there's some who are embarrassed and won't stand up, I know. <laughs> Alumni president and board members. Well, I know we have some. Okay. Nobody wants to stand up anymore. Okay. Yeah, indeed, it truly is a, a pleasure to welcome each, each of you here. And this time I'm going to reintroduce Stephen Snyder, who will continue the program. Thank you, Ricky. Um, I, Rachel Abbott, who is, is on your program, she could not make it today. She was a little under the weather. Uh, we're going to have Chris Pritchett, who is the Associate Dean of, of Education, is going to do one of our introductions today. So we're happy to, to have Chris here with us today. Uh, I have the distinct pleasure of giving you a few instructions on how to get your meal today, okay? Uh, so what, the way we're going to do this, the first few tables up front, we're going to go from front to back because those that are speaking on the program today uh, are, are near the front of the room. So they'll go first and then uh, each table can kind of fall in line and there are two, two serving tables in the adjoining room and uh, we hope you enjoy your meal. This is uh, one of my favorite meals of the year. So uh, we, we appreciate uh, Aladdin preparing this for us. If you would just bow your heads as we uh, bless the food. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity uh, to come uh, together and fellowship. Uh, we have uh, donors and we have scholars uh, receiving um, support as they uh, get their education at Georgia Southwestern. We're grateful for everyone in this room uh, for the opportunity to spend some time together. I'm grateful for Georgia Southwestern and we're certainly grateful for everyone that chose to be here today uh, and making time to travel uh, uh, to, to, to join us. And Lord, we just pray for a blessing on this food and we thank you for your son. In your name we pray, amen. All right, please go get your food. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please continue enjoying this wonderful meal. But we will be moving forward um, with the program at this time. And um, 
Dr. Abbott asked me if I could step in for her today, and I just must say it is an honor to be here um, today um, and to join you for this, this occasion. And I'm also blessed to have the opportunity to introduce our first speaker this afternoon. Tyler Kayukango is a middle grades education major focusing on math and social studies. She is an active member of many student organizations, including Kappa Delta Pi and Ed Rising. She serves as a student leader for both of these organizations. Tyla is reflective and sets high goals for herself. She chose to come to, to GSW from the Atlanta area because she was looking for a college that would support her goals through the pandemic. When asked why Tyla chose to pursue a degree in education, she said, I want to be the teacher that young Tyla needed. I want to be a role model for my students. And I've had the opportunity to talk with her several different times. She was one of the first students I met when I started GSW um, this past July. She's just a delightful young uh, woman, and um, we look forward to hearing from you. So, Tyla, you may come on up. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tyla Calacango. I'm 19 years old, born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm sure by my last name, which I acquired from my father's side of the family, that you're a bit intrigued. Where is that from? Um, my family actually immigrated to America, fleeing the Angolan Civil War, um, which, with that history, has taught me to be anything, nothing short, but no, nothing short of determined and resilient. I graduated in May of 2020, just a few months after the announcement of the COVID-19 pandemic. I was enrolled to start college at Georgia State University, but after finding out that I would not be attending classes in person nor visiting my campus, I withdrew and decided to pursue something else related to my degree. Instead, I founded my tutoring business, Tyla Tutors, and focused on helping students currently around me and in my area. For the next few months, I worked with a multitude of students across grades and subject areas that I love, which confirmed my dedication to becoming an educator. In January of 2021, I moved on campus to Oaks to work, I'm sorry, to major in middle grades education. As a 17-year-old, in a completely new city with no available activities for me to interact with my peers, I felt alone. My first semester of college was difficult and an adjustment to say the least, but I remained hopeful. And in the fall of 2021, I took my first class at the GSW College of Education and all of my worries disappeared. The GSW College of Education is a family like no other. In my time here, I have developed personal relationships with, to name a few, our Dean, Rachel Abbott, Dr. Rachel Abbott, Dr. Christopher Pritchett, who introduced me, Dr. Thelma Sexton, Sexton Mr. Zachary Ward, Ms. Allison Terror, and Ms. Amber Ward. Each of them have gone out of their way to support me, encourage me, and challenged me to do more both inside and outside of the classroom. Through the support of these professionals, I have become a leader, Kappa Delta Pi National Honor Society and Education member, student representative speaker for the GSW College of Education, and a Mary G. Dupree scholarship recipient. These positions, scholarships, and academic scholarships I have received have created an avenue for me to develop as a leader, grow my knowledge, and put my future within my locus of control, both mentally and physically. I cannot thank the GSW College of Education faculty or Georgia Southwestern enough 
for the knowledge I have gained, the experiences I have had, or the relationships I have built. And when I graduate as a certified Georgia educator, I intend to emulate the care and respect diligently given to me for the past three years, everywhere I go. Thank you. Hi. I get the privilege of um, introducing our next speaker. So for those of you who don't know, before I was in the position of the Carter Leadership Program Coordinator, I was also a housing coordinator here, and before that and during that time, I was a softball coach. In the summer of 2019, Coach Nikki sent me to a Stars Over Alabama showcase, and a part of my job there was to watch some girl named Henderson <clears throat> and give Coach Nikki some feedback. I'm not sure if Henderson remembers this the way I do, but the first time I watched her play, she hit a clutch home run and her team won the game. I thought that was really great, but it wasn't my favorite thing about Henderson. Up until the home run, Henderson had not had a hit that day. Yet, during the entire game, Henderson never stopped talking, loudly. <laughs> no matter how well she was or wasn't playing, no matter the score, and twice as loud when her teammates were successful. By the end of the game, Henderson came and introduced herself to me and shook my hand. She was disgusting. She was covered in dirt from head to toe because she had given that game everything she had. I watched her do that during two other games that weekend. I told Coach Nikki that she was really good at softball, but she was even better at leading. I didn't know then that I would take this position I'm in now, and I had no idea Henderson would be a part of the Carter Leadership Program. But I did, and she is. Since stepping on the campus, Henderson has made an impact on and off the field. During her freshman year fall semester, Henderson stepped up when Coach Carey needed bodies, and she joined the women's soccer team. She even got some playing time. In the spring, Henderson started in and played in over 60% of her softball games as a freshman and batted close to 300. For those of you who don't know, that's not an easy task. Outside of sports, Henderson is active with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, is the social media chair of the Student Athletic Advisement Committee, is a part of the Georgia Southwestern Association of Nursing, is part of the Canes Leading Canes program, acts as a GSW marshal, has completed over 100 hours of community service, and has maintained over a 3.5 GPA through it all. I've had I've had the opportunity to firsthand witness Henderson's work ethic and impact, and I'm so glad she's at GSW. Please help me welcome Henderson Hurdle. Hey, everybody. So, like Michaela said, my name's Henderson Hurdle. I'm a sophomore from Macon, Georgia. I'm a member of our softball team and also a member of the Jimmy Carter Leadership Program. I ultimately chose Georgia Southwestern first because of my recruiting process, like Michaela stated. My head coach, Nicole Levering, showed interest not only in my ability on the field, but also my character and how GSW could develop me into the person and nurse I wanted to be. Nursing school has always been a dream of mine. My passion for caregiving came from my grandfather. He was a Methodist minister for over 50 years who life quote was, love for the sheer joy of loving a quote I try to practice daily. Towards the end of his life, he was placed under hospice care. For three and a half weeks, a woman named Lori took care of every need of my grandfather, but also all the needs of my family. She is the reason I want to pursue my BSN degree to specialize in geriatric nursing. Georgia Southwestern has provided me with so many opportunities in just four semesters of being here, including volunteering at organizations such as the Plains Distributing Food Drive in Salvation Army, playing bingo with Magnolia Manor residents, and the opportunity to represent Georgia Southwestern at the Peach Belt Student Athletic Advisement Committee this past January in Augusta. Scholarships have most definitely impacted my college experience. I've been able to focus entirely on my education, athletics, and involvement in our campus and in the community without any financial hardships. The ability to focus on furthering my self-character and career is a blessing that has an unlimited price. 
One specific scholarship fund I receive comes from the involvement with the Jimmy Carter Leadership Program, which has not only provided me with a cohort of individuals who have developed me into the person I am today, but has also given me the opportunity to see what true leadership is like, both on the campus and in the America's community. In addition, the caregiving scholarships I receive have also allowed me to start working on my certificate in caregiving that has educated me on special populations within our community and the types of care they receive. Scholarships are what propel students and athletes like me to further our dreams. Thank you all for your continued generosity and support. Without your donations, I would not be able to work on my degree to become a nurse, and without your donations, I would not be able to continue in my grandfather's legacy of loving for the sheer joy of loving. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Gaynor Chokas, the Dean of the College of Business and, Com and Computing, and I have the honor today to introduce Colby Gordon to you. Colby is a senior accounting major, and he's also a pitcher on the GSW baseball team. He plans to enter our MBA program as soon as he graduates, which would be this semester, and then he'll start his um, graduate degree program in the fall. I've been told that he has a smile that brightens up a classroom. And for accounting, that's really important, that you walk in with a smile and that you brighten up the classroom. He is a people person. Uh, you can count on him to do what he says he's going to do, which does not surprise me. He is a ringleader, and if you've seen any of our home base, uh, basketball team, basketball games for the girls, he is a green leader of the student flower shirt wearing section that cheers on the girls. Um, so uh, another um, confirmation that he is a very people person. We expect great things from him and look forward to hearing that he passes the CPA exam and becomes a CPA. And as we're talking at the lunch table just a few minutes ago, I said, well, what are your plans beyond, you know, doing your MBA? He has already gotten a job offer, y'all, <laughs> with one of the top firms in our area. So we're so proud of Colby, and, and with that, I will introduce Colby Gordon to you. Thank you. As you've already heard, my name is Colby Gordon. I'm from Gray, Georgia, which is right above Macon. And I grew up in a sports heavy household and I've enjoyed playing sports my whole life. My parents have always to taught me to take care of my school and before I could ever think about playing sports. And their guidance has instilled in me the desire to work hard and a dedication to my classes so that I could go play sports. I would spend just about every weekend playing baseball, traveling all over around Georgia and then as I got older, I began to play in different states. This busy baseball schedule taught me to organize and prioritize the time I had available to dedicate to my academics. I chose GSW because it was pretty close to home. It had a good baseball program, had a good business department, and a pretty campus, and also a pretty cool president. I got a funny story about that. So I was coming on my visit, and I had on a TCU hoodie and we had to run into Dr. Weaver. And he said, what's it gonna take to get that purple off of you and get you in some blue and gold? And after that, I said, all right, this might be the place. <laughs> and I wanted to get a meaningful degree while also playing baseball. I'm an accounting major. I chose to major in accounting because I've always been pretty good at math and with numbers, and I didn't wanna be your typical math teacher. And accounting offered me a good profession. After graduation, I plan on becoming a staff accountant at a CPA firm and just getting life started. There's a high demand for accountants right now, and I've participated in many accounting or accountant meetings, like the accounting club meetings. And being a college athlete, it is very tough to do with school and study hall, classes, volunteering in the community 
community is very difficult to stay on top of your classes. So just got to give a little help to the athletes. And I could not thank Dr. Bishop, my advisor and accounting teacher enough for helping me through the process of college. And I also want to thank my other accounting teachers and Dr. Smith and Ms. Hart. Thank, thank y'all for everything y'all taught me. And I also want to thank the donors who have given me the chance to achieve a higher level education. And I think I speak for everyone when I say that it's like a weight off of our shoulders, not having to worry about the financial side of college and helping us focus on school and not trying to make money to pay for the school. As a student athlete, there's a limited opportunity to get a job. So these scholarships are extremely helpful throughout my college career. And I can promise you that the scholarships that I've received has allowed me to focus on the academic side of college more effectively. It has allowed me to finish college successfully and prepare for the next stage of life, becoming a professional in my chosen field. Someday I hope to pay this forward by helping others in the same way. Thank you. Great job, Colby, Henderson, and Tyla. Um, I hope you feel like, you know, the, the donors in the room, I hope you feel like what you, what you do and, and how you support the university is, uh, is, is meaningful because we have students like these that, that uh, represent us very well. Uh, but, but before I, I jump to our video, I, I just wanted to also indicate not only are the, you know, the students who spoke today some of our best students, but Colby has the best haircut in the room too. So I don't know if you guys re recognize that, but uh, uh, there are, there's two steps uh, in, in well, two thing, two events throughout the year that, that we uh, pay a lot of attention to in the foundation office uh, to, to uh, communicate with the donors. And one of those things is this meal where, where the, the donors and the scholars, you have a chance to, to sit down together, share a meal, fellowship. Uh, the first thing, but the first thing we do during the school year is we have a letter writing day, scholarship day, and all of the students in here should have written letters and, and we mailed those to you so you can you know, see you know, who the students are. So there are some that are not here today, uh, but we have a video here where, where we wanna show uh, that process. And, and some of the students said thank you verbally on video. And uh, at this time I'm gonna share and then we'll let Dr. Weaver come up. an important element of your experience here at the university to to understand and to recognize that there are people in this world who don't know who you are who are willing to invest in your future and hopefully Sometime uh, during your stay here at GSW, you might, you might get to meet this person. But in many cases, you won't. And through this letter, you can say thank you, but more importantly, through your actions, you can say thank you. Your, your effort in the classroom, your effort on campus, your success as a student and your commitment to fulfilling somebody's faith in you as a student is your way of saying thank you. And it's your, I hope, uh, it's the legacy that you will leave at GSW as a student. Hey, my name is Palmer Bronstein. Um, I've received three scholarships, uh, the Stanley Wicker, um, the Charles Mix, and the James Derriso. Uh, through these scholarships, I'm just so thankful. Uh, it's allowed me to get really involved, do things like Mr. GSW, be part of the Chi Phi fraternity, um, and just be a really active hurricane, uh, as well as help me be part of the CARES team, so that way I can make sure fellow hurricanes have a good college experience, just like me. Hi, my name is Edith Acevedo. Um, I just want to say a thank you, a big thank you to the Gozetta family for letting me be one of the recipients to receive the scholarship. 
The scholarship has helped me and my family extremely, considering um, we come from a minority class. Um, they don't, we don't receive as much as people usually do. And with me being a first generation, it's helped me extremely because we didn't know where to start, exactly how to pay off. And because of you guys, you guys became a big part of me not being able, or for me not to even be in student debt. And that's definitely helped us a lot. And so I just want to say thank you. And I'm sure there are, the other recipients are just as grateful as I am. Hi, my name is Marlena McNutt. I'm from St. Cloud, Florida, Central Florida area. I am the recipient of the Wiseo Chansky Scholarship. I would just like to, th to say thank you. Um, I'll be using this scholarship and your donation to be able to further my education in nursing school and hopefully one day become a pediatric nurse. Um, I play softball here, I am an outfielder, and I look forward to meeting you, and thank you again for the scholarship. Hey, I'm Jemiah Hall. I was awarded the Wine and Spirits Scholarship. Thank you guys so much for gifting me the scholarship. I'm so excited and happy to be awarded the scholarship. I'm a senior here at Georgia Southwestern State University. I'm majoring in business management and hopefully to aspire in an entrepreneur in the beauty industry. So I'm super excited to have this as a start in my college career and thank you guys so much. Hello, my name is Kavian Phillips. I am a junior communications major here. I am a recipient of the Alumni Association Scholarship. And with this scholarship, it is going to allow me to work less hours, so I won't have to focus more on my studies and not on how I can pay for it. Uh, I am studying to be a news anchor on television, and with this scholarship, it's going to allow me to do my best and uh, achieve all my dreams. Thank you. My name is Angelina Scottegi. And I'm Natalie Navarro. And we just want to say thank you for allowing us to receive the Kiwana Scholarship and helping us further our education here at GSW. I'm Jamal Floyd. And I'm Emily Larkey. And we're recipients of the Tammy Lee Fortner Scholarship. And we just wanted to say thank, thank you, Ms. Fortner, Fortner, for your, your generosity. generosity. That's a great video students always do a great job of telling their story and saying thank you uh, colby i want to just make sure you understand there's nothing wrong with being a math teacher right it's all right i didn't want to be a math teacher either but we love them um we have here at here at georgia southwestern about 50% of the freshmen that come to this university are the first in their family to go to college. About 57, 58% of the freshmen that come to Georgia Southwestern are Pell Grant eligible. They come from families whose ability to support their education uh, is, is, is at a point where the federal government will step in with the Pell Grant. What we do here for those students, but for all students, is we provide the opportunity for social mobility more than any other thing they can do in their life. The opportunity to change the direction not only of their life, but for the direction of their family's life, for generation after generation after generation. Your donation, your gift to them is more than money. It is a helping hand to a new status in life, a new opportunity for their family, and it makes a difference not just for them, but it makes a difference for every generation of their family that follows them. What more could we ask of you than to invest in the future of our community for generations to come? Those of us who work here, we obviously believe in higher education. 
we believe that what we do matters and that it's important and that it's valuable. When you make a donation to help us do that, you inspire us to give more effort, to be more committed to what we do, because we know that it matters to somebody who doesn't work in this profession. It matters to you as someone who sees what we do as valuable and important. So we thank you for inspiring us to do what we do and provide these opportunities for the students. But what I want you to take away from all of the students today is that your donation, your scholarship, allows them to be more than just a person sitting in a classroom. It allows them to do things that help them develop. In today's world, and we've had this, we're having this conversation in higher education right now, and it's, it's interesting, but on your telephone, every piece of information that exists in the world is available to you right now. You don't have to sit, I probably shouldn't say it this way, but you don't have to sit in our classroom to learn this information. It's what we do and the opportunity the, these students have to be involved in the entire process. So when we talk about a student athlete, what are they learning? They're not learning just baseball or softball. They're learning about teamwork, problem solving, being prepared for your opportunity, working with people who are different from you, who have different thoughts and ideas about how to adjust your plan when things don't go the way you thought they would go right off the bat. The same is true of the students that are in the music program, the theater program, that student government, that work in our residence halls. When they have the opportunity to do these other activities, they are gaining the valuable skills that will make them professionals, that will make them members of our community that add great value. And so every time you think about your scholarship, I hope you recognize that that's one less hour, two less hours, 15 less hours that they have to work at a part-time job that's not helping them develop those skills. You're creating opportunity. And, and that's what I think you heard from all of our students today. It's those other opportunities that are making the difference in their experience. So we thank you for that. We thank you for, uh, again, believing in Georgia Southwestern and this university's ability to make a difference. We don't take that for granted. We know that you could give to any school, but you choose this one, and we appreciate that support. Um, before I wrap up, I wouldn't be doing my job right if I didn't mention this. We are currently in the middle of a campaign for scholarships. The Propel Scholarship Campaign, it's named as a way to remind you that every scholarship propels students forward in their life. Our goal was to raise a million dollars for scholarships in 18 months. We started this in August. We are 58% of the way to our million dollar goal, and we have certainly more than 40% of our time left. So I'm highly confident that we will reach our million dollar goal, but I'm not too shy to ask that if you are considering another gift, now would be a great time. And we hope that uh, your, uh, your opportunity to work with students and get to know your students might inspire you even more. But we do appreciate it all very much. We're glad you're here with us. It's been a while since we've been able to get together and have you 
visit with the students and, and so it's nice to see everybody back on campus. This is uh, the last full class day before spring break, so I'm so glad to see so many of the students are still here with us today. And uh, we've got softball going on this weekend on campus. Our baseball team's heading off to Young Harris. Our women's basketball team will be playing in the NCAA tournament up in Salisbury, North Carolina. So there's lots uh, still going on, even on spring break. So if you have a chance to come by and see our students in action, I would encourage you to do so. They're incredible, uh, amazing young people. And they, they just, uh, when they show off, it's, it's spectacular to see. So thank you for, for helping make that possible. I hope you guys have had a great time today, and we certainly look forward to having you back here again uh, next year as we do this again, and we'll, we'll keep bringing back more and more donors to be a part of this special uh, luncheon. So thank you all very much, and hope you have a great visit and a uh, safe trip home. Thank you, Dr. Weaver. And just to follow up on the Propel campaign, if you have questions, you can see me, Steven Snyder. You can see Hunter Peak in the back of the Raise Your Hand, Hunter. Uh, if you have questions about uh, scholarship uh, donations, feel free to talk to us today. If you'd like to reach us later, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, again, thank you donors. Thank you scholars. Thank you faculty and staff members here today. Uh, this, this event, it, again, is one of my favorites. It wouldn't be possible without each of you. And so I'd just, again, like to say thank you for being here today and helping be a part of it. Uh, with that, we are done. And feel free to stay and take pictures with your recipients uh, and safe travels back home. Thank you. <laughs>